Hi, Todd. I'm Rory. Oh, I like that name. Thank you. It reminds me of Rory Gilmore. You watch Gilmore Girls? <laughs> I watch Gilmore Girls. I own all the seven seasons on DVD. I own all seven seasons on DVD. I almost went to Yale because of that show. I almost went to Yale because of that huh. show. I didn't get in, obviously. I did. <laughs> I think I might not be gay. So you want to start dating girls? I think it would statistically improve my love life. This is recoculous. Todd, you cannot decide that you're straight just because you don't like the gay people you've been meeting. This isn't a comedy, right? No. So she chooses to stay with him in Wisconsin over potentially thwarting a North Korean nuclear missile crisis. I mean, that's... That's a lot. People do crazy things when they're in love. So you said you're an actress. Have I seen you in anything? Uh, maybe. Have you seen Two Girls, One Cup? No. When did it come out? You actually may be somewhat straight. Thank you. Like a Kenzie three. <laughs> oh, but we, we don't want children. They bring you unhappiness. You were the second best decision I ever made. What was the first? Investing in Google. What am I? You're the fourth. The question is, why do we want to ruin our relationship with sex? Exactly. I mean, 65% of married couples stop having sex after 10 years. Really? I don't know. I just made that number up. Well, it sounds like a real statistic. <laughs> that you can love somebody else until you love yourself. What if this is as good as it gets? Like that movie, as good as it gets. Sometimes something's gotta give, like that movie. The day after tomorrow. Sure, we all like to think there's a soulmate out there for us who's going to complete us intellectually and physically and emotionally, but the harsh reality is not everybody gets that. So two out of three isn't so bad. If you're blind or schizophrenic or you're missing an arm and a leg, you might not even get one out of three, and you just have to accept that. <laughs> You're the nicest person in L.A. Really, I'm not. I lie to homeless people. I always have change. I just don't give it to them.